Oh, evening. It is July 12th at about 7 o'clock at night. It's the only time I can come out here because the sun's back there behind all those trees back there. So it's cooler. Cooler being 25 degrees at 7 o'clock at night. It was 31 today. So I'll give you a little look at what's going on. Bucket of peas. Oh, there's a pea. Um, harvesting a bunch of peas. Talking to the crows because they're up in the tree over there yelling at me. Oh, the moon. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, Cheryl's pruning the maple tree for me because it was covering all here. I'm trying. Name of the game is airflow. I'm trying to get some more airflow in here because with all these trees here, this ground is not drying out, which means I'm in peril of um what's that stuff that mold not mold um anyway mildew i'm in peril of mildew so i'm pulling down some peas actually no i lied i'm pulling down all the peas um i don't like peas gerald does but they're infringing on my blueberries so i'm going to harvest peas i am going to harvest potatoes maybe today maybe tomorrow i'm going to harvest some carrots i'm going to my daughter's this weekend so I've knocked over some nigella, bad me. I'll show you what I've done in here today. I can only do so much and then I'm in absolute agony, but. Uh, so yeah, there's most of this. I took the, Gerald sawed the, roughly sawed the board, boards out for me. I'm gonna fix those later. I've dug out down to almost ground level, which is what ground level was originally. And that's got, um, God, I can't even think today, I'm so hot. I've got, uh, that's not a matter of opinion, that's actually the temperature. Um, ground cover, cloth, cloth, weed membrane, weed membrane down. It's been down there for years. It's obviously doing quite well because it's not rotted at all. But I've got to scrape some more of that up and then I'm going to try lay more clean um, weed membrane down and seeing how that goes. The brassicas are doing really, really good. The cabbages and... Brussels sprouts are doing amazingly. I've been slug hunting on a regular basis in here and as you can see dumping a ton of salt on the bricks that hold these up which seems to keep them off of my cabbages and things as long as they don't jump from anywhere. We harvested all the Tuscan kale out of here. Harvested the Tuscan kale out of here. Once I get this side clean enough I'm just going to move this cage over here so I can work on this side but I've got to clean the path out as well which apparently we're on a humongous slope. I'm sloping into the backyard. Anyway, that's what I did in there. This is my tromboncino, which while I'm standing here, I'm going to prune off a bit of the lower leaves. And I don't want it to grow any extra branches. So I've got all that taken out. Um, any side shoots. I don't want side shoots on my tromboncino. It's probably going to have side shoots because it looks like it's getting something. Anyway, so I'm going to take some of the carrots out. They're starting to bolt. Those are the Bolero carrots. Yeah, tons of air space now. It's opened up quite a bit. The sweet peas fell over. Uh, they fell on the outside of the fence, at least and not on the inside. What else am I doing? Doing some more pruning on the tomatoes. The tomatoes have absolutely gone rampant, but it's been... Like you with your rain not going outside, it's been so hot here I haven't been able to go outside because we hit like 38 maxes for days and days. We may, may I say, get rain on the tw 20th, but that's still like over a week away. Um, some of the beans in the pots are doing okay. Some of them didn't do okay because I couldn't get them watered enough. So note to self, either put more plastic in the bottom or put them in a better spot where they're not getting... Um, burnt to death in the heat what else the blueberries are doing good they're huge but they do need more light as well so they're in a good spot they're just not in a good spot with the peas all there so we're taking those down so that's what we're doing right now don't panic that's not a dead tomato that's a side shoot i cut off i wanted to show you i cut some of them off when i'm doing side shoots but i wanted to show you the quickest way to do it so you don't have to do any of that is this is a obviously a side shoot which I didn't get around to if you just take this leaf this is the, the leaf if you just push it up it snaps comes right off you don't even have to worry about having any clippers with you now it works 99.9% .9 of the time like most other things in a garden it does not work all the time so make sure you've got your side cu side cutters with you at least at some point anyway they're falling on the ground but then again 
Nick at that British homestead who she does all hers laying on the ground. She doesn't stake up too many of them and she seems to have an amazing harvest so I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, I've got some flowers on my, what is this thing, uh, white paddy pan. got flowers on my white paddy pan so that's okay. Tromboncino's not got any flowers on it yet but it's not dead and not dead is good and I need to close this gate so I've been able to protect the cabbage whites. Keep them out of here for ever. So hopefully I'll keep them out of there continually. Yeah, so it's getting flowers on it, but just not open yet. So anyway, I'm gonna go back to my peas and then I'll show you the potatoes later. Bye. <sighs> morning. Morning. I'm always upside down. Good morning. Um, we are doing, let's see. First of all, we'll do it Saturday, July the 13th. And it is about 11 o'clock in the morning and it is already 25 degrees. They said it was going to be cooler. They lied. They showed we were going to get rain by the 20th. That's no longer on the prediction. So who knows? But anyway, it's water, water, water. Oh, mosquito. Sorry. Um, today we are going to, because the potato pots were doing funky things, we've decided we're going to harvest, hello, harvest the potatoes for the prune, no prune experiment. And that was just something fun to do. It's got nothing to do with growing potatoes in a in a knowledgeable fashion. So I'm watching a mosquito fly by. Um, so we'll see what those ones. This pot here is the prune. So we pruned all the trees down. We didn't prune it really, really low. We just pruned the tops off. This is the prune and they were sown April 13th. So let's see how they do. Um, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so two seed potatoes. There's the seed potatoes. Oh, there's another one. Gotta get every little one of them. There's some on here that's so tiny they're microscopic. So two seed potatoes. Oh, there's another one. And see, look, even the tiniest, I don't know if you can see that, the tiniest of potatoes will grow a potato next year. So try and get as many of them out as you can. I just throw them on the grass. Hopefully the rabbits eat them. Anyway, so that's from two seed potatoes. I don't know if you can see that. That's the prune bush. So put the label back in and we'll go and get the other one and do the no prune, see if it was any better. Okay, here's the no prune. Pot size, no idea. And like I said, this was just for fun. April 13th, same date no prune label. Two seed potatoes, oh sorry, um, two seed potatoes, same all-purpose fertilizer, same watering conditions, same everything. Everything was the same. Same, 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 same again. Okay, so this one actually was bursting out the sides of the, I mean look at that. Can you see that? Woohoo! Pink potatoes. I love red potatoes. Anyway, let's get these off here and see how they did. The soil is so dry, it's insane. And already they're looking better than the no prune ones, or the prune ones, because the potatoes themselves look bigger. Like I said, the conditions were exactly the same. I tried to emulate the same thing over and over when I was doing it so that nothing was different. And the reason I did this was just something to do. I just like having fun in the garden. So, yeah, this one's already way better. And somebody said it probably would be, but hey, if I did everything I was told, I'd never have any fun, would I? Okay. That's not a potato. It's very dry. Like, I am constantly watering. Thank God we don't have water restrictions for vegetable gardens yet. Yet, I say because I'm sure they're coming. Okay. Oh yeah, lots of baby ones. We like little potatoes. They're great, just roasted with garlic and olive oil and just eat them whole. Yes, yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you can see how dry that is and I just watered them yesterday, but everything's just drying out like crazy. Anyhow. Let's see, I think that's all of them on that plant. Yeah, and there's some more babies there. 
trying. Hang on, I'll be right back. Here I am. Okay. I'm just chucking the little babies out to the birds and the rabbits and the whatevers that want them. Oh, there's another potato. I think that's, that's, other than that, there's the one seed potato. And funny enough, it's got more shoots coming on it. And lots of teeny tiny babies. I mean, I could probably put this back in the ground and grow more potatoes. That's, hey, that's a new experiment we could try, right? But I need these pots for my cucumelon, for Freddy's cucumelon challenge. So that's it, I think, on that one. So yeah, not much difference. These ones are a bit bigger, but let's go get the other one and we'll put them side by side. So there, so um, the prune one's got lots more potatoes, but they're smaller. The no prune ones got a few more bigger ones, but all in all, no difference whatsoever. So if you need the space and your potato plants are taken over, just give them a tiny little trim. Trim the tops off. Seems to work okay for me. Anyway, have a great day. I'm going back in the house. It's too bloody hot now. I will sacrifice myself for you guys just so much. Bye. Hi. It is July 15th and it's frickin' roasting. I know you guys are dealing with, well, a lot of you are dealing with tons and tons of water, but it is 29 degrees outside at 12.30. 19 degrees in the middle of the night last night. I am not getting any sleep. Anyway, what I'm going to show you what I'm doing is I read up on propagating my pineapple lily. I'll show you what it is in a minute. Pineapple lily. And it says, I don't know if any of you have ever grown mother-in-law's tongue. Oh, I'm way down here. Mother-in-law's tongue. Way down here. Sorry. Um, big long things. And you used to be able to just cut the stems and just, you know, cut them into big blocks and then put them in the ground and they grew. So that's what we're going to try doing with these things. So pot of really nice soft dirt. Took off a leaf cut some V's in it, cut some V's. I'll put some, if I can find it, in a hurry. Um, some rooting hormone, there it is up there, rooting hormone on it, in it, with it, for it. I think that's what this is, yeah, rooting hormone. And put them in this pot and see if we can't make them grow. What have I got to lose? A leaf, right? So let's give that a shot. Anyway, they look like really cool plants, so. Them on the edge I've been told. So anyway I'll come back to you after when I show you what other stuff's going on outside. I guess I should show you the cucumbers and peppers. Peppers are doing really good they're getting tall but th that's it for my flowers. I don't know if you can see that teeny tiny flower. Oh they're getting teeny tiny flowers on here. It's just I mean even peppers like the heat but they don't like it that hot. Cucumbers are doing good though. There you go see. I might have to pick some of these because I think these are the mini ones. Bit of ambition there hey i thought they'd get really really tall by now i mean come on it's the middle of july anyway let's go outside and i'll show you what's going on out there rescued brassicas mystery brassicas i love a mystery brassica veggie pods i put covers on them it's too hot i mean come on it needed a new dress right uh, these beans are doing okay they're getting beans there they're in a bit of shade though those ones aren't as happy and those ones died these ones are doing okay it's just too hot i'll stop saying that in september tromboncino's tromping up the trellis and the tomatoes are just going insane when i tell you about weeds then i don't have weeds this is what i have these are saplings from the bloody trees next door cottonwoods and birch and things like that silver birch and they are everywhere in the thousands see everywhere you sit here and pick them all out one at a time would drive me insane the tomatoes all are just going mental some of them fell over but like i said in my last bit of the clip if nick th that british homestead can lay hers all on the ground and they grow fine why not blueberries got some blueberries on them but not much i gotta see if i gotta cut these off they're the leaders or suckers or whatever 
Ah, these are my tree lilies. Look. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? These are the pink one. These are new. That's why they're the small ones. Um, they grow exponentially each year. So these are the first one year ones and that one over there. These are two year and these are the three years and they're probably about I would say six and a half feet tall and when their flowers come out those ones should be the yellow and white ones and they are the size of a dinner plate. Still working on this cage in here but Still taking dirt out. Gerald's bought me new wood for all around. We went and did that yesterday. I got to get all that black. I don't know if you can see it. All that black stuff is um, mare's tail roots. It reminds me of those dangly things on uh, War of the Worlds with Sean, Tom Cruise. You know, when they come out of the spaceships. Brassicas are doing good. They need another water. What are I going to do, f like, temporarily? Oh, my cabbage is harding up. Look at that. Ooh, exciting times. Um, they're doing really well in here. They're not uh, being pestered by much of anything. But they do require constant attention and water. So what we're going to do is empty out all this side, get the wood around that side, then move this whole contraption to that side so I can work on digging that part out. So this is a giant work in progress. And all that's going to be in there is the brassicas for this year. We'll see how that goes. Tromboncino, I told you, is doing fine. Flower bed's doing fine. This is my new um, astilbe. It's a dark leaf astilbe with, I think it said it's got pink flowers, but I'm not sure. I'll show you later. It's over here. Took all the peas down. They were taken over, and Gerald's the only one that eats them. I have one or two tomatoes on my tomato plants, I think, but I've got lots on the patio plants, the little mini ones. They're doing really good. I, like everybody else, have got plants with leaf curl, and I have no idea why, because the one on this side's got leaf curl, the one here doesn't, same soil. So I don't know what to tell you. Crocosmia. I told you, crocosmias are like potatoes. You leave one tiny crocosmia in the ground, and you will have them again and again. So i got to mark those and try and pull them up next year. I don't want crocosmia in this bed. Um, they just are invasive, and they take over. Well, I've got to harvest some broad beans. They're doing really good. And the Greek Gigantus, the one and only plant that I had, is happy to romp away by itself. And the Purple Queens over there are doing okay. They've got very few flowers on them yet, but I've had a lot of leaf and not leaf, um, flower drop from the heat. It's supposed to get up into the mid 30s tomorrow. So these are the plants I bought myself yesterday. So this, oh, here's the, this is the Astilbe. It's dark side of the moon. I keep all these labels so I can look at them later. This is the pineapple lily. It's from, it's an African plant. Crowning glory. And it gets a real tall spike on it. Um, it likes lots of drainish, and drainish, drainish? Is that like Danish? Um, it likes lots of drainage and heat. So it'll love it here at the moment. And this is starship rose. A cardinal lobelia. Special la 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 So I'll be putting that in the perennial flower bed. I'm trying to do more perennials and less work. What else? My white calendula needs water. I'm out here watering every day. My one lone apple is still hanging on. Thank you, Elaine. I love my joy. I did give it some feed, but it also needs more water. Gerald cut the huge pallet in half for me, so I've got a bit more of a spread here. Cucumelons melons are doing okay. They're liking the heat. They love the heat. I don't like cucumelons. melons. Gerald does, but that's okay. He can, he can have his fun little things and see there's lots of cucumelons melons on them. Peanuts are, they're growing, not dead. Not dead is good. And this is my one and only surviving pongo bean from Bill and Val. And yes, Bill and Val are doing very well. They're just taking a break from social. Um, blah, blah and blah blah squash uh, la, 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 la. romanesco because those ones are zephyrs i showed you those last time they've got lots of little things on it, but this is the weirdest thing ever i'll just put still pictures in and get under here this is my new veggie pod yes the girl has an addiction problem um but it's better than crack right the flowers are like they've got like a leaf curl on them they're not opening up properly but one of them had like a twin i'll put the like i said sweet peas are doing really good and apparently the larkspur that i just chucked in here a seed is all coming up 
It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Anyway, not much else going on. This is my yellow raspberries. I did not realize it would be like a humongous tree. Oh my God, look at that tiny little poppy. Girl distraction, girl distraction. Yeah, so lots going on, not lots going on, if you know what I mean. <sighs> anyway, I gotta go in, it's too hot. I came out to do that leaf thing and to, I don't water it this time because it just is too hot. The hose pipe is like I could wash laundry in the hose pipe, it's got such hot water coming out of it so I always have to empty the whole hose pipe out before I water anything um, got to find some place for those that one because it was a really expensive one it was $25 um, I will have to put on the patio for now until I can get it established and what else brassicas over there on the wall they were in that cage but I took them out because they were getting too dry because they're in smaller pots the black lilies have come back with a vengeance. And yeah, too hot. Way too hot. Can't stand it. It's not even August yet. We are in such deep doo-doo. And did I show you Gerald pruned the trees for me? Which seems like a stupid thing to do when you need all the, the shade in the world, right? But it was stopping everything down here from drying out. Because there was no... Like you can actually tell there's light in here now. So anyway, that's it for this... Uh, video I'll post later haha <laughs> it takes me two days to get them posted have a great day and um hope everybody has a wonderful summer somewhere anyway bye oh I forgot to, I keep forgetting to show you this so I sowed these on July the 5th and I don't know if you can see them but it shows you what nice hot weather does and I tried to sow them as thin as I can these ones have even got some true leaves on them these are top flight i'll put a picture on the screen these are from sean at sean's garden and of course i'll put his link in the description like i do with everybody i talk about um so those are excellent sean thank you for those 